Step 4. Adding interactivity to your page. In this section we will cover how Oomph features actually work, how to create a hotspot, and creating rich media assets. Oomph features are created by adding special naming conventions to URLs. This means that you can create Oomph assets using any software program that supports URLs. It also means that you can change features simply by renaming the URL. As an example, let's create an in-page slideshow. You can see the slideshow in the example on screen contains three images that you can swipe between. We're going to create this slideshow in three easy steps. Step 1. Open up an InDesign template file from the Oomph Getting Started bundle that you downloaded in Step 2. I'm going to use the template for iPad. For this demonstration, we're going to create a landscape page, so I will delete the portrait page from the template. So now you will need to design your page. I'm just going to paste in the content that I already designed in Step 3. Step 2. Now we're ready to create a hotspot. There are two ways to do this. The first would be to use the image to represent where the slideshow is going to be on the page, then delete the image so you only have the box remaining. Alternatively, you could just draw a transparent box using the frame tool to indicate the position of your slideshow. With the frame selected, go to the hyperlinks panel under Window, Interactive, Hyperlinks. Click the Create New Hyperlink icon at the bottom of the panel and in the text box, type in IPS. This of course stands for in-page slideshow. We're also going to add the number one which indicates that this is the first in-page slideshow in this section. Your next slideshow in this section would then be called IPS2 and so on. It's important to uncheck the shared hyperlink destination box as this is just a precaution in case you have two hotspots in one document with the same name. Then click OK and your in-page slideshow hotspot is now created. Each OOM feature has a special naming convention to indicate its functionality. On documentation, you can find the cheat sheet, which is a quick reference to look up naming for all OOM features. So for example, if we scroll down and look for in-page slideshow, you will see in the far right-hand column the naming we use is IPS1. Step 3. We now need to create the slides that will sit within our hotspot. You can use a variety of media in your slideshow. Common media types include PDFs, JPEGs, PNGs, and video files like MP4. You can easily generate PDF slides in InDesign, which is the way we will set up our slides in this example. First we need to find out what the size of our hotspot is by selecting the frame. You can see this hotspot is 419 by 558 pixels. We then create a new page, and using the Page tool, we resize it to these dimensions. Now we duplicate this page three times, as we are going to add three images to the slideshow. Then place an image on each slideshow page. Another way of creating your slides would be to resize your images in photo editing software like Photoshop and then simply naming your slides and placing them in the correct folders as we will outline in step 5. Our in-page slideshow example is now done and ready to export. We'll now move on to step 5 where we'll look at exporting and previewing our files.